Hey guys, it's Pub Lucan, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Game Wednesday. In this series, I play a game for an hour and give you my thoughts and opinions, as well as my one hour score and whether or not I will play it any more than one hour. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. This week we're looking at The Witness, an exploration first person puzzle game. It has a low poly art style and an open world waiting for you to explore. My first look at the game was strange. The game starts by leading you down a tunnel and making you solve an incredibly easy puzzle. It then shows you the world making you solve harder and harder puzzles to leave the starting area. This serves as a tutorial as you learn more mechanics as you go along. I really liked how the game smoothly showed me the world without the need of a formal tutorial. This is a puzzle game, first and foremost, and I have to go ahead and say it, that puzzle games are not really my thing and I rarely ever sit down and play them. The puzzles in this game are a different take on connect the dots as there are variations such as multiple paths, items you must collect, and mirrors which add branching paths. These subtle changes kept the game interesting and when I got comfortable something would change and spice things up. In one part I had to use a landscape as an obstacle which I thought was a really unique feature. The game is an open world, so that does mean that you can complete the areas in any order that you want and you can travel the world exploring as you wish. You wake up in a deserted island without memory, so you must go and complete the many puzzles that you encounter and try and figure out what is going on and who you are. It's very mysterious and makes you wonder if the puzzles hold the information you're looking for. I absolutely loved the low poly look of the game. The aesthetics kept me glued to the screen and I really loved how everything looked so pretty and chill. The game and vibe are really relaxing as it lets you do things at your own pace. In conclusion, this game mixes something that I'm very familiar with, first person games, and added puzzles which I am completely alien to. In turn, I was able to play a game I really enjoyed. I see myself playing this very relaxing game when I'm just looking for a chill and laid back time, not the usual adrenaline that other games give. I give The Witness my 1 hour score of 4.5 because of how it kept me interested and how it was able to create an amazing aesthetic. I do see myself playing this game past 1 hour and I will definitely come back for more. You can find the game on Steam for $39.99 although I recommend that if you really want to play it, you buy the Origin Access which you can get for a whole year for $30, and it includes this game as well as many others. That's how I did it. If y'all enjoy, I post this series every week, so consider subscribing. Make sure that you share the channel with anyone that would be interested in my tech and gaming videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.